What's up everybody and welcome back to another math puzzle. In this one, the question is as follows. I have three magic natural numbers. The product of all three numbers is 288. The sum of all three is 21 and the largest number is a multiple of three. What are my magic numbers? Hit that pause button and see if you can figure it out. When you're ready, hit play and I'll give you the explanation. So in a question like this, I want to start with the red clue, the product clue, because I think that limits the choices the most significantly. So it's all three numbers are supposed to multiply to 288. By the way, natural numbers means whole numbers greater than zero. So one, two, three, four, five, etc. So no negative, no nothing like that. So let's figure out what all the prime factors are of 288. So we're going to do a little prime factorization tree. We're going to split it. 288 can be multiplied up to by 2 and 144. Since 2 is prime, we circle that. Let's split it again. 144 can be 2 and 72. And then we're going to split it again. That can be 2 and 36. So you see we're just kind of making our way down. 36 can be a 6 and a 6. And that can be split like this into two and three, boom, boom. And then another six can be split into two and three. So now we have our prime factors, which are two, 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 three, and three. Now, first of all, it says the largest number is a multiple of three. So knowing that it's a multiple of three, it could be anything like three. It could also be three times two, which is six, three times three, which is nine. 3 times 2 times 2, which is 12. You see, I'm just using the factors to build numbers. It could also be 3 times 3 times 2, which is 18. Now, again, because of that limit that the sum of the three numbers has to be 21, we're not going to get a multiple of 3 that's going to be bigger than 18. So kind of we're limited to these choices. Now, if we take an example of 3, and 3 is supposed to be the largest number, that multiple of 3, that doesn't really make sense because there's a, what else can you have? 1 and 2, so that's not going to really work. Uh, same with six, even if we had five and four, there's no way we're gonna multiply up to 288. So it's gotta be bigger than that. Now let's take a look at nine. So if we have nine as our largest integer, these two threes would be taken away. So then the question is, can we arrange these other numbers in terms of products? So we can get numbers that again are gonna add up to 21 and multiply to 288. Well, check this out. If I have my greatest number being nine, what if I group three of these together? What's two times two times two? That's an eight. What if I group two of these together? What's two times two? That's four. Now we already know that these are gonna multiply to 288, but just to be safe, nine times eight, that's 72. Four times 72 is 288. And guess what? Four plus eight is 12 plus nine is indeed 21. So four, eight, nine are the magic numbers. Done. I hope you guys enjoyed this math puzzle. And if you did, please click that like button. And if you wanna see more math puzzles on the regular, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.